Following George Washington's lead, some of the founders insisted on more so-called checks and barriers against the introduction of tyranny. These men were called anti-federalists and included the likes of Samuel Adams, Patrick Henry, and George Mason. They feared the new federal government might become too powerful and take away individual liberties, as King George III had done in Britain. They pushed for restrictive clauses that should be added to the Constitution to prevent an abuse of federal power. Anti-Federalist George Mason was a delegate to the Constitutional Convention when he helped write the U.S. Constitution. His hard stance on checks and barriers earned him the title Father of the Bill of Rights. The first 10 amendments to the U.S. Constitution are known as the Bill of Rights. They stand as the foundation for American principles such as individual liberty, limited government, and the rule of law. The First Amendment is perhaps the broadest and most famous of the Bill of Rights. It recites our inherent freedoms of speech, press, religion, assembly, and petitioning our government. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Without these individual rights, we really don't have a free and functioning republic. Without our freedom of political opinions, moral convictions, and religious values, we would quickly return to authoritarian regimes where one party controls everything. With respect to religion, President Ronald Reagan said, the First Amendment of the Constitution was not written to protect the people of this country from religious values. It was written to protect religious values from government tyranny. The Second Amendment protects our right to bear arms. The Third Amendment protects us against the housing of soldiers in our homes. The Fourth through Eighth Amendments focus on our rights to a fair system of justice, including protections against unreasonable searches, unfair trials, and cruel and unusual punishment. The last two amendments, the Ninth and Tenth, spell out that the list of individual protections in the Bill of Rights is not meant to exclude others. By contrast, all powers claimed by the federal government must be expressly stated in the Constitution.